I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger Bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. Pulsar. Image. Quality. Hey guys, welcome back to The Last Stand. We are still in Colorado, day three, and we're in new country, TR. Yeah, yeah. Looks pretty bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. compared to the stuff we've you've seen in the last couple episodes where we've been, you know, dealing with tall weeds and grass, you know, this is pretty... We're going to see them. Pretty They're going to sneak up on us this time. No, no, that'll be good. That'll be good. <laughs> so, excited for the day. We're going to bounce around a little bit. We gotta, we're going to hunt some areas here, then we're going to head down the road about an hour and hunt some more for this afternoon, so gonna be a little bit of travel today, so we're expecting, you know, not gonna crank out 20 stands, it's probably gonna be a 12, 13 stand day, but, uh, you know, we're gonna go with quality over quantity, that's been the, the key to the last couple of days, you know, yep. um, very few blank stands, so we're gonna get in here, TR said there's a windmill, we're gonna get in here, that's gonna be our cover, right, we're gonna pile in around this windmill, hopefully break up, we got six of us on stand, so. <laughs> I cover saying, like this, we're going to need. He ain't going to sneak up on us. One uh, of us is going to see him coming. That's right. That's right. Well, sounds good. Hopefully, we can put together another great episode for you guys and kill some coyotes. Do it. Yeah, is that a CRP you're talking about, huh? We're in a really bald pasture, and we're hiding in a bunch of wire. All six of us. Bunch of CRP out here, and I'm assuming that's probably where they're gonna come from. There's a ditch over here. TR's running the roughneck today, so he's about ready to let her rip. But let's see what happens. Well, old TR got a double to roll in there. They rolled in perfect. He started the stand with Blondie and Pup Serenade, and it's got a bunch of pups howling and an older female, and then it rolls into some really good pup fighting, and that's that's the sound that they showed up on. Yeah. Uh, as far as the kill, I got to kill the first one of the day. I kept looking out of my scope when that one stopped trying to, I wanted this one to get far enough over here where they could get after it, but I, I don't even, where did he end up at over here? Behind he, the windmill or was he? Yeah, he dropped down there in the ditch. There's a little yeah. low spot there yeah. by the time I, <clears throat> by the time I got swung around, he cleared the windmill, I had to move and then he just, he was gone. Yeah, there's yep. a ditch, you couldn't really see it. But that was 100% the right shot. Like, yeah. that was our shot when yeah. they checked up right yeah. there at yeah. under 100, yeah. that he was the shot. He started turning, you know how they <laughs> oh, yeah. arch up and turn, quarter, not quartering away, but he was, get, I, I just, I wanted to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> it was time. <laughs> it was time. Well, TR, you still got it. You had a, a two-day rest on that old thumb. <laughs> you come back strong, first yeah. stand, pushing them buttons. Yes, sir. Blondie <laughs> Pup Serenade. Tuck 
back in the shadows here. running the call because TR left his call at the last stand. I don't know much about what we're sitting in, but it's a big, huge pasture with a big draw. We got the wind kind of coming over here and Jeff running the call out there. So in theory, they should swing around down there to the right. All prime for me and Jeffy to slay them out there. What do you say? I didn't hear what he said. Okay. We're about three and a half minutes into TNT. Kyle popped up right here. I think he saw us. You know, the sun's up high enough now where we're just kind of sticking out a little bit, but I think it's a young pup, but he, anyway, just, we were just patient. He come right down and stopped. Perfect for Rick down there, about 150. But I'm gonna get aggressive now with a bunch of pup fight and see if we get something to come from a little farther. Shot, Ricky. Yep, thank you. It's a nice patience there. Oh yeah. Well, Nick to... spotted him, I could see it was his head right there, and he, yeah, I think he was looking right at us. Yeah, I couldn't even see him over there yet. You know, the sun, would. Yeah. Came up a little high, he pegged mm -hmm. us, but patience, man. That's all it takes sometimes, right? Yep. He Don't rolled. freak out and take the 150 yard headshot. He just, hell, he kind of lost interest almost like he was sniffing the ground. Like... Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> no, yeah. that was, that was good and easy, actually. I mean, I don't know how much easier you could ask No, one. no, that was perfect. You had time. Yeah. Like when they're just trotting out there, you're just like, okay, take a deep breath. Usually I'm the guy popping them too quick, and I was like, man, I think I might let him, no, Jeff said, get him killed down here at the bottom, so I did. Uh, heck yeah, well that worked out right. good, two in a row. Well, I'm gonna give you a little update. Yep. We made four stands this morning with TR. We killed coyotes on those first two stands. Then we made two blank stands. Yep. It was about 10 o'clock. We knew we were coming to hunt with Colton, so we packed up. We made about, what, an hour, 15 minute drive. Yep. We're farther east. Uh, so yeah, it's right about noon now. So we got, what, maybe five hours, four and a half, five hours of hunting. So mm -hmm. Colton kind of showed us what he had uh, access to. We kind of put together a little plan and you know what? Like, you got a yucca pastures, kind of stuff like that. Yep. Good good cover where we're gonna hopefully find these coyotes for the next two or three hours and then, you know, wind's not blowing much. It's warmer, it's the warmest it's been in yeah. the last three days we've been yep. here, but shouldn't matter. Rick's running the call. He's gonna flex his thumb a little bit. Oh yeah. Stretch it out. I'm gonna let her rip. All right. Let's go into this first stand, see if we can make some magic happen. All right, our first stand with Colton. We got Jeff over the hill there downwind. Big pasture, it looks good. My gut says they're up there and them yuccas up in there somewhere, so I think I'm gonna start out with TNT. It's a little breezy. We got big country and it's a loud, it's a really loud rabbit, so here we go. <clears throat> we finally got into our setup. <laughs> We were looking on Onyx. Colton didn't quite know exactly where the boundary was. So we hit this fence. We were walking what we thought it was the boundary. So we walked 
further in than we probably needed to, we bumped a coyote. Probably cost us that coyote. If we'd have just come straight to right here after we'd looked at Onyx, we would have never bumped that coyote to, to the upwind half. Probably would end up killing him, but great looking stuff. Got a bunch of thick yuccas off to the downwind half here. See him coming. Right down the fence. He's gonna get our wind. I'm gonna have to shoot him quick. He stays right in this draw here. Wind's blowing over the right side of the draw here. Alpha pivot come running right down. Luckily, luckily that coyote could easily win at us, but he'd come on a straight line, which is perfect. So we just heard Jeff shoot down the wind, and me, whenever I hear somebody do that, I go right to the pup in case there was some more that'll maybe swing him back around in. So let's keep going here. Maybe we can get another one. Ooh. 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 So what I just said happened, happened. I turned pup on and another one rolled in over there on Jeff's side. So now I'm gonna change to another pup. And a lot of times, They'll come back rolling back in. Can't we just get one to come over on the left side? Gonna let him keep coming a little bit. I told you I wanted to set over there off top of that hill, Colton. Well, hopefully we can find all those coyotes and I might have myself a solo downwind triple. <laughs> that coyote was weird. He was over there sniffing where I hit that first coyote. It must have been spraying some blood and stuff on that first coyote because he was sniffing all around. And then he just kind of turned and was, was leaving. So he was right there about that 225, 240 yard mark as well. I didn't give that one any wind though. I hit him right in the pocket, I think. He, he just ran down and died in the bottom. Well, Jeff got all the shooting. We run, had the first one come into TNT over there on the downwind side, and then I, I think I switched to one of the new half-breed sounds, and then a, he shot again and again, and different pup fight, and we've set another 10 minutes, so I think we're, we've pretty well had all the action we're gonna get. Usually, if you hear Jeff shoot three times, there's three dead coyotes, but I saw one peeling up off, off the side of the hill there, so we'll see what he's got. Let's go see. Well, this is the first one he shot, come off over out of this wheat here. I'm grabbing it for him. Heck of a deal to have to drag Jeff's coyotes for him. They're off over there grabbing another one, and I ain't gonna look for that third one. This is a nice one. Well, here's coyote number three. Right where I thought, I knew I'd got him kind of low right there in the heart. He probably ran 40, 50 yards and piled up. I'm gonna go look for the second coyote. Nick running the big camera thought he had seen him clear up going up the hill. Thought he saw some blood on the back, which would make sense. I knew I hit him low, kind of mid body, just being how quick I had to shoot without really knowing the distance and making a quick assumption on the wind, but bullet didn't drip. I'm gonna spend three minutes going up here and look if he made it farther than maybe a hundred yards from where I shot him then then uh yeah you're you're just not gonna find him so spend a little bit of time and we're gonna go after some new coyotes here he is <laughs> like I said it's always it's always good to maybe go yeah 100 yards if, if they make it past 100 yards and you don't have just a crazy crazy good blood trail it's not worth it but you know, I hit him about mid-body, maybe three inches up from the, the bottom of his belly. Like I said, shoot a good bullet, and, uh, and you usually find him. So I usually like to drag him 
fur forward, but when you got to drag two, it's usually easier to hind leg them. Stand three. Uh, we had to do a little off road adventure. Jeff wanted to get to these rocks, this rock pile here, so a little bit of work to get here, but we're going to see if it pays off. Jeff's down covering the downwind side here again, so we're going to let her rip. That's hard to do right there. I was barking, he wouldn't stop. That thing's coming to fight some pups. And Colton got him killed right there. Usually them get out of here. That's where we needed a shotgun. But whew, that got me pumped up. <laughs> nice one, Colton. Nice. Or get another one in him. God dang it. I said how screwed up it gets sometimes when you can't stop them. The second coyote showed you how. Did he stop though? He stopped. We hit him. Pretty sure. Yeah, we didn't. Hit, we didn't hit him good enough. Oh, okay. Jeez. You ain't got any more shells, do you? <laughs> Jeff will get him, maybe. You got him, heart shot him. Oh, somebody was struggling getting coyotes killed. I should have stopped the coyote right here. I, I didn't know how well I could see in the bottom, but they shot, it looks like the coyote ran that way. I heard a few shots and then it come running out of there all bloody. We got it killed right there though. But <laughs> These coyotes are bombing in from a long, long ways out there. Number three, you, number three coyote just come into uh, one of my new sounds. Half-breed breeding battle. That's what's playing right now. I'm about out of ammo. I think Colton's about out of ammo too. I am out of ammo, look. Wee wee. <laughs> well, that's about as an ideal triple, kind of like the one I killed a couple stands ago, just single coyotes rolling in about a minute or two apart. It was, it was pretty wild. As we're shooting at this second one that they winged going down the draw, I look out, you know, over there about 400 yards and saw the other one bail in. Luckily, Rick, you know, he knows what he's doing. He turned that call back up even after five, six, eight shots. I don't know how many shots we shot at that sucker that way down there trying to get away. But then this one come rolling right over, just almost same exact path as the other two. <laughs> Pretty damn exciting.
thanks for grabbing that coyote for us, Jeff. That was a little closer on my way around. Yeah, I figured, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm assuming you're both out of ammo. Yep. Yeah, that's why you think I shut the call off finally. They just kept coming over, piling over that freaking hill. Them were, them were the coyotes I wanted all weekend. I knew, that 10 I was gauge. saying that up there watching. I'm like, oh my God, Rick's probably wishing he had his oh, 10 gauge right there. Especially that first one. I told Colton, I said, this is going to be about impossible here. I'm going to try to help you out if I can. But yeah. I want him, you know, to shoot. He's getting a lot of bringing us out yeah, here to yeah. his stuff. So. <laughs> well, coyote fever is a real thing, you know, especially when they come bombing over the hill and you're all I'm frantic really after, like you know. We should have. You dumped trip. this first one right at the fence, then, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, and I heard him kind of squealing a little bit, and I'm like, "That's coming right said, from where they're sitting." Get seeing. another one. Get another one <laughs> in him, Colton. Get, get another one in him. Stand up and shoot him a second <laughs> Yeah. And then we kind of pooched this, this second one. I I I went to change up. You know how you want to go yeah. to another yeah. pup fight, you know? And I was like, "Yo, come on, come on, come on, come on!" And I looked at him. Oh, gee, oh, no. and Yeah, I we had couldn't. the. It, it'll be cool from our angle because you guys had kind of a chest on shot. I had a broadside, so from our angle, you can see the bullet kind of stripe right down and blow the hair, and then you see the bullet hit the dirt. But then he kind of flopped, but then he ran down in here, and I could I lost him for a while, but probably no sense. Did you see him finally run, or did he get in the bottom? He got, he got in the bottom. bottom down in there. I mean, I don't know. We ain't going to go look yeah. for him. Yeah. We can go do All right. some more footage. That was exciting. Keep half, pushing the hey, buttons. The half-breed breeding battle was that one where the roar, 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 roar. It's a new pretty one. good. Hmm. Come on. Sig 3, though. Sig 3, yeah, one. that did. <laughs> You're right. Might be our last stand, maybe one more, I'm not sure. Colton brought us into this nice big valley in here. Got cattle over there. Should be a good place for coyotes. Looks good. I think I'll start out with Lucky Pecker on this stand. I lost him. Well, this was kind of an interesting stand here. Had a lot of drama in it. I noticed when I started calling today that my I needed to change the batteries on my remote and I just kept blowing it off, I guess. And the last stand, I noticed it was flickering. The, the, lint, the light the screen was flickering a little and it, as soon as we started here, it went dead. Nick, the camera guy, had double A's and he threw a box of them down here I got it changed, got, we got going again, and then the, they all seen a coyote over here, and I don't know if it's because I'm 58, and I just could not get my eye on that thing, and the more nervous, but he was way, way higher up the hill there than I thought he was, but anyway, I got him killed, and I lip squeaked with my hand down here. I do that a lot of times, even when the call's playing. There's something about a, a real lip squeak because he was skylined up there and I didn't want to shoot across the skyline. So I squeaked and I think I did it about three times, didn't I? And he come, he finally come where I could 
paste him up there. So let me get these batteries picked up. Jeff's all scrambling around here wanting to make a stand at dark when we never call a coyote in on the last stand ever. And I wanted to make a nice line with us. We got about 26, seven, eight coyotes in the back of my truck. So I don't know, let me pick my mess up here and we'll get rolling. of a stack three days <laughs> that is colton bud it's a pleasure meeting you man nice to meet you too that was a hell of a lot hey. of fun this afternoon appreciate you having us out it means a lot bud <laughs> i mean that was pretty efficient this afternoon i mean we would probably end up making what about six seven stands probably yeah i think so killed, six or seven killed six coyotes i mean that was great after i mean it got up to about 65 this afternoon yeah wind pretty much died down typical day where you'd think the coyotes weren't going to respond real great yeah but man middle part <laughs> first two out of the first three stands yeah. man we had them just bombing in um you know then this last stand you had this little sneaky one kind of mm -hmm. come in really didn't care yeah. but yeah made patient. good video though oh yeah yeah, yeah that's a great one in on we finally killed the coyote on the last stand on the last stand <laughs> that's what i told it him i said if jeff don't want to push up in here <laughs> do one more stand right at dark i can't even see out of my freaking scope well, i said we could call this the last stand we and probably actually... should do that because <laughs> half the time the last stand ends up being a half ass stand because you're just trying to be right the sun, you know? yeah so, but no, it's been great. Uh, hopefully you guys picked up a lot of, a lot of tips on this one. Tons of coyote footage. This yeah. is exactly what uh, we hope to bring. I mean, first part of second week of November, this is what you expect. The pups now are big enough. Yep. Uh, you know, coyotes are responding now. Should be pretty good now for the next month or two. And then maybe rolling some breeding stuff. And yep. It'll be good. But uh, no, I want to thank you guys for watching another episode here. Stay tuned. Uh, we're off to North Dakota next. Rick might come along, you know, yeah, he might we'll make see. The trip. We'll see, see how the old man's doing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We'll see. So hopefully he can make the trip up there, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to bring you guys some, some more action from there, hopefully. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time right here on The Last Stand. Woo! <laughs>